Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. I'm just here to talk to you guys about some things about the future of this game and to show off my first ever Tower Fantasy account that I sold when I took a break from the game. Um, I took a break due to IRL reasons as well as some of the content creation program problems I was facing with um, at that time. So I was reached out to by the person I sold the account to and they saw what I was doing on YouTube and they said that they think the account would be a lot better in my hands considering I'm trying to provide as much content to help everyone possible. If you're on PC, if you're on PlayStation, if you're on mobile, it doesn't matter. I'm here to help you. Even if it's, hey, Tony, I can't do this raid. Can you come help me? Hey, Tony. I don't know what this is. Can you help me? Whatever it is. If you come to my stream while I'm live streaming, even if I'm not playing Tower of Fantasy at the time, and you need serious help, I'm here to help. So, um, but I do want to talk about some other things. Um, the biggest thing being that all these new characters coming out, everybody is so hyper-focused on altered characters. It goes back to Lynn. Okay. What is happening? What I know, what I see, what I just experienced since day one is the altered character hype. Okay. Everybody must pull this character. Everybody must save everything for this character and spend everything on this character. And I'm talking about the new altered that's on the way. That's already out on CN. And if you're a low spender or free to play player, or even, like, just, you cannot full send and save for one character and one character only. You're not going to have the best time playing this game because you're going to struggle through some content. Now, if you want to full send one character because you absolutely love that character and that's the only character you care about, you don't care about meta, then fine. Please, pull whatever you want to do. Play how you want to play. Because that's what really matters at the end of, end of the day. But this happened with Lynn. I've seen this happen with Lynn. So this is like Lynn 2.0. Everybody that was free to play that I knew saved everything for Lynn. They A6 Lynn. They went for Lynn matrices. They did all this. They did all that. Then a lot of them quit the game not too long after. After 2.0 hype died down, a lot of people quit the game. Me as a streamer, I've streamed this game since day one. And I have seen the incline, I've seen the decline. I've been on both sides of it, even as my own Twitch channel. I have seen the incline, and I've seen the decline. I've seen it in other Tower Fantasy streamers. I've seen it in Tower Fantasy viewership alone. The biggest point of Tower Fantasy's career was 2.0. When Lynn dropped, after that, it was nothing but, you know, a decline. Let's be honest. But everybody that I knew that saved for Lynn, and they didn't pull on any of these other characters that released at the time, and they didn't have a team comp to play with, and they were stuck with just A6 Lynn, who is not a main DPS, as their main DPS, struggled. And that's okay if you want to. That's fine if that's who you want to pull. But I would remind you that even if this character is not as good as what's coming out in the future. If you're a flame main and you don't have investments like A3 Lawn because you're a new player. And this is the newest fire character that you can get to match up with Paintbrush. Then you pull that character. And if you only pull it one time, you only pull it one time. You only get one copy. Then you save for altered. When a free-to-play player plays Tower of Fantasy, you pick one comp and you play one comp only. So, now that PlayStation came out during 3.1 or 3.2, 3.1, we had a lot of more 
options than what I did. I feel like the Tower Fantasy PlayStation launch and the PlayStation version, in my opinion, being both part of that and PC and mobile, I like the PlayStation version a lot better because it released with a lot more content, a lot more characters, and a lot more options for everybody to go with. So, if you pulled, you know, if you pulled Lynn and you pulled Fiona, then yeah, you save for the next altered and you go and altered residence. But if you pulled Fire or Ice or Zeke or Mimi or whatever it is on Volt, and that's the only character you have right now because you're saving for future characters, then you pull and save for the next altered and you pull or you save and pull for your next Volt. Don't ever invest in old characters. I have people come to my stream and read my comments and I can't reply to all of you. I wish I, I wish I could. You, all of you, if you have questions like, hey, should I play this, this or this comp? I have this, this or this. Who should I save for? I'll answer them for you. I'm really bad at getting back to the comments and I do apologize for that. But if you are a low spender or free to play player, you pull your comp. You save for a comp. You don't save for one person and one person only. However, you do pull altered. You save for the next altered. Altered is always going to be the best investment besides support characters. Because they do last the longest. So. I want to show you all a little bit of my accounts. As you can tell, I'm not going to pull fire or ice. Except for the next character on this account. Matter of fact, I'm really not going to be spending much on this account. This account's going to be a support slash carry for free-to-plays. Um, I will pull maybe one um, altered, and I'm probably going to go Volt, because that's my favorite, and always has been my favorite since day one. Um, I don't care about meta. I don't care about DPS. I don't care about anything but having a good time. I'm very more casual on it. But when it comes to Origin of Wars, I am going to try to play as a support. When it comes to, um, like, Void Abyss, like, I will play support or carry, and I'll always be happy to help on, out on PlayStation or out on PC Mobile. So, the biggest thing about this account that I got back, which makes me so, so, so very happy, is my collection of outfits. I have so many different outfits and when i came back nothing was really touched either everything was left the way it was my character creation was left the way it was um i was very happy to come back to my account and be able to see the character that i played with since day one and it it just felt nice to have the account back did i expect this no i did not um but i'm very grateful and like I said, I'm very happy to help out anybody possible. As you can see, I'm too lazy to unlock my free mounts. But other than that, that's really all this video is about. It's about a rant. That's it. Just ranting about everything I see going on. People coming to my video saying, don't listen to Tony, blah, blah, blah. You, you, sir. You, sir, telling me not Telling people not to listen to people on my own, my own YouTube. I'll give you credit. You have some big, massive balls to do that. Um, because I would never. But for you to tell me to, to pay for your pulls. I'll give you something you can pull on, buddy. But I will never pay for your pulls. Let alone let you control what is said on my YouTube channel. So, yeah. I appreciate that. And for that, you can go fuck yourself. And you know who you are, and you'll watch this video, because, once again, you watch my videos. That makes you a fan. So I appreciate you. I appreciate the free content. I mean, the free clicks. Yeah, so I know you'll see this, and you know who you are. Other than that, if you guys need any other help, questions, are anything in general, just to come and hang out and game, I'm always live every day at twitch.tv slash 22 ghosts. Please feel free to leave a comment down below. I'm going to try to start getting better at replying to them. Other than that, I will see you all in the next one.